Hello Star Wars and Unboxing fans, welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host Darth Tuba. Today we are continuing our unboxing of items from our recent Disney trip. And today we have two items. We have our Droid Factory 4-pack of four astromech droids. We're actually three astromech droids and Dio. And we have our one of our other Mandalorian Baby Yoda Hasbro figures. Okay, so why don't we go right into it and start off with the um, the four the droid four pack. And while I'm talking, while I do some unboxing, let's talk a little bit of news. Uh, Disney, of course, just did their uh, er quarterly earnings report, which, of course, no to a surprise to absolutely no one, was quite dismal. Uh, that is absolutely to be expected, not just for Disney, but for pretty much every company. Um, Disney is going to work really hard to try to earn that back. I'm sure as a person who enjoys visiting the Disney parks, I'm going to see um, probably a lot of, you know, people that go to Disney parks are going to see a lot less going on and prices going up. That is a sad uh, necessity for this time of, you know, financial turmoil. But at the same time, they, I believe, have done a very successful job of opening up the parks to, you know, in a, in a safe way for people. There has not been, sorry for the crackling, there has not been any spikes um, related to any, any of the parks opening, which I think is a testament not only to Disney but also to Universal and uh, the work that both the theme park industry has done in general. Video about our trip, I was extremely thrilled with how well they handled it. The only feedback I could give was to continue to encourage people to wear the masks and that's that's just a, a, a kind of a way of it now and you know I've been saying this to my family and friends I've been saying that uh, the current state of the world is, you know, is in sad shape when it comes to things like the virus. And I think we have to learn how to adapt, live with this virus uh, until such time that a, um, a, you know, a vaccine is available. But that could take years. So um, I don't know if, you know, it's really fair for everybody to be to have to stop everything and for people not to be able to work and students not to be able to go to school and everything else. So. Um, I think that we have to continue to look for ways to live with this virus and be safe. So, wear your mask. Anyway, so we have our four droids here. Okay. Now, I've been told, I've been told <laughs> that if you watch the movie, and these days with, with Blu-ray and with uh, streaming, we can, and you know, with the high definition, we can actually like pause frame by frame by frame. You can see all these figures. Now, of course, Dio there is no doubt here. We have an R5 unit and R2 unit. I gave their names in the previous episode and an R5 unit that looks a lot like R5-D4, but apparently it's not R5-D4. It's another droid. But uh, nonetheless, I do um, love collecting these. I, I don't know why. I think it all, for me, and I might have mentioned this in previous episodes, it stems back to the Kenner Droid Factory that they released, which was essentially just a base, plastic base, with a little crane playset feature and it included a bunch of droid parts and you can actually build the droids and I thought that was really cool and one of the droids you could build was an R2 unit that looked like R2-D2 not blue like this but looked like R2-D2 but it had the third leg and if those of you who were around for the vintage years back in the 70s and early 80s the R2-D2 that they released then only contained two legs and it was just straight up like that and then they only then with the building the droids segment part of this droid factory playset you could get a three-legged droid so i thought that was really cool so anyway um the thing about these is that they all come apart and disney came up with this you know ingenious thing that they were doing outside of their star tours ride where you can actually build your own droids different color legs different color feet different color dome and you could do that and then make either a single droid or make a two-pack and they even included really cool things like Mickey ears and and pirate hats and you know all sorts of cool stuff like that. And you can make these very exclusive different types of droids that are exclusive to the Disney parks. And I think that one of the things that they started doing was actually creating some droids themselves, the Disney company, out of these factory parts and creating a four pack. So that's kind of what happened. This is like their third or fourth. They kind of based them on droids that they that made appearances, even if they were just blink and you miss them appearances 
in the most recent movie. So this is the Rise of Skywalker set now. Of course, Dio is a different droid. And what I like about this particular Dio is that it has a nice little plastic base, which I don't know all the Dio's came with. And you can actually like lay it flat and it'll stand and his head can turn. You know, it's, it's a cool little feature. So yay, yay for our droids. I'll add them to our little droid depot. And of course, speaking of Joy Depot, you know, D Disney went, on, went one step further and now made it where you can build, you know, 18 inch size droids. Now we just wait for them to make full size droids. You can buy a full size R2D2 or customize it to look however you want for $25,000. It's a little pricey. <laughs> so uh, there was a part of me that's like, maybe I'll sell everything. I probably could get 25000 for everything I own and then get the R2, and that would be my one collectible. But I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. All right, moving on. The child, the asset, Baby Yoda, everybody's favorite. He's kind of like the second coming. He's united us all as fans, which is not really true, but it feels true. <laughs> um, I just think that he's got this combination of cuteness, he's got the cute factor, and along with that, he's, oh, excuse me, I apologize. I did not mean to upset you. But he's got the cute factor. And in addition to the cute... I know. Hang on. I'll get you out of here. I'll get you out of here. Jeez. Be careful when you do this, guys, because I'm using a... Thing. All right. I'm going to actually take this, this little thing off because it's just too much in the way. Thank you. All right. There you go. Nice and cute. Okay. There he is. <laughs> I wonder if this was actually the um, the sound effects from the movie, or did they just <laughs> see that now? Does he stand? No, his head has got a little bit more weight than his body. Okay, he's got plastic feet, plastic hands, and a plastic head. But this head is pretty heavy. So you probably, with a little bit of finagling, can get him to stand up. But it's going to take a little bit of work. So be careful there. I'm going to have you lay down a minute there because I'm not done. He's got a few little accessories to... Oh, boy. Yay, yay, yay. One of these days, I'm going to film this, and I'm going to literally cut my hand open, and I don't want that to happen. I promise I won't actually show that. But I'll tell you if it happens. Um, how's that? And if it's really bad, you'll see me with like a bandaged hand in the next episode. I'll be like, funny story. I did it for the channel. I did it for the views. For the subscribers. Welcome to our new subscribers, by the way. And uh, people ask me, like, are you botting or anything like that? I, I believe that my channel is a... I have been doing a uh, kind of... A combination organically growing and also growing by getting some help with some services um, mainly to get more uh, people more interested in the, in the channel I stand by the channel though I, I think what I do with this channel is um, you know it's a very niche thing for different pe for people so and you know I don't get some views depending on what it is I can get hundreds of views I can get thousands of views or I can get 30 views I just think it depends on what what kind of things people are looking for. So um, my advice is to check out each channel, each each uh, episode. They they generally run between eight and twenty minutes. Sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little less. But everyone is sincere. So I hope you guys can think that. So what does he come with? He comes with a bone broth bowl. You know that you would see. Now, you have to kind of show this. I'm going to try to do this, but I really can't do it because his hands don't hold the bowl, which is kind of weird, but there he is. Hold the bowl. Can you sip it? No, you don't want bone broth right now? <laughs> okay. Or the frog. Now, again, I now I think the frog you can probably hold to some degree. Yeah. All right, so you can have him hold the frog. There you go. Um, obviously, he doesn't open his mouth, so you can't really get anything in his mouth. All right. Um, my only, um, if you want to call it a complaint, why is this baby Yoda facing away? Don't be jealous. You can face here. It's okay. I've got a couple of baby Yodas here. The only complaint I have, and it's not really a complaint, it's just a, a minor little 
feedback is that it would have been nice to be able to hold for the character to have hands that could at least grip one one side of the bowl or maybe to look like you could sip it but i can't i think it was just a very simple you know make the sound effects i don't know if you're hearing this i hope you're hearing this <laughs> to make the sound effects for um baby yoda it's not a full size and the thing is that people like there's a ton more there's like a there's a medium-sized plush that Disney had. Now they just created one that's going to be in the uh, the um, you know the Toy Darien toy shop in Galaxy's Edge. There is a an animated one that's coming out or has come out. I'm, I'm losing track of all the Baby Yodas, so I don't remember. And again, I've tried. I've ordered for everything that came up. I or, I pre-ordered, so I don't know which is coming in the mail or which is not. But, um, and then I know that Sideshow slash Hot Toys is creating kind of a life-size one, um, kind of prop replica, which is, to me, the ultimate Baby Yoda. So, uh, looking forward, a lot more Baby Yodas down the pike. But this one is kind of cute. It's really cute for, for being able to carry around as kind of like a mascot or something, because it's a little smaller. So, that's kind of neat. So, that will do it for this week's episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification, hit that bell icon. And, uh, you know, please leave comments. Let me know what you think. If you found any product, any Baby Yodas, any other types of Baby Yoda product. It could be toys. It could be any, anything. Co- collectible clothing, posters, whatever. Let me know where you found them. And um, if you, I want to show off my, my new shirt. This is a Darth Tuba Unbox shirt based on the Rebels logo. Again, the artist is my daughter. Her name is Krina. And you can find information about her down below along with my Tee Public site where you can get a shirt like this or any other kind of... Um, standard product that Public sells. You can also see uh, the other type of Star Wars art that comes in at the beginning and the end of this channel that you can see if you'd like to get something of your own like that. Support the channel that way. It'd be really awesome. So thank you so much for everybody for watching. Until we see you again, may the force and the toys be with you. Mm-hmm.